Cosmo here. Guess what? My Ultimaker 2 is out for delivery today. Finally, after waiting two months, I'll finally be able to 3D print something. People keep asking, what are you going to 3D print? I don't even know, but I'm going to do it. Where's the 3D printer, Dexter? Where is it? Where's our printer? And I'm still waiting. I've seen FedEx and USPS go by already today. And it's to the point now where I'm afraid to use the bathroom because you know they're going to show up as soon as you go. Notice the empty space. All this filament, just waiting, waiting for the printer. Where are you, UPS? Come on. It's finally here, but I don't like unboxing videos, so I'm not going to make you guys watch me unpack this thing. Uh, you know, uh, my first impression, honestly, uh, it looked bigger on TV. I am ready to turn this thing on for the first time. Got this spool of silver PLA stuck on the back. I got my handy dandy high tech bed leveling device standing by. Here we go. Welcome to the first startup of your Ultimaker. Press the button to continue. Walk you through the first run wizard. Okay. Turn it on the right direction. Material. It's going to take about a week for the filament to make it all the way from here all the way in there. So let's let's skip that too. Okay, I lied. You have to push the button. It makes it suck it through super quick. Now we're waiting for, there it goes, material is coming out. That looks like whatever they must have tested it with, it's green. Okay, now it wants to, ch to choose our material, and we got PLA in there, so, is this right? Yes. Okay, it knows what it's using. Let's print something. SD card in. Okay, so it's asking us what we want to print, and of course we have to start with the Ultimaker robot. 
mostly because that's what's already on the card and I don't know what those other things are, but... I'm not going to do anything to the bed either, so we'll see what happens on this first try. Off it goes! Heating up and preparing to print. I'm not sure you can see this, but that's how thick that material comes out of that nozzle. It's like dental floss. Super thin. Alright, here it goes. like it's not sticking to the plate, it's too high. Nothing. Oh. Right, it's gonna be ugly. What? Why am I glad it's walking? We didn't actually need it. The arm was trying to get this security camera to do time lapse from above, but the angle of it's not very good. I don't think it's going to work. We'll have to figure out a better place to put it. Okay, so it's done. Uh, came out pretty good. It's not perfect, but I'll take it. Yay! Yay! And I can say with absolute certainty that if I had gone with a kit of any kind whatsoever, I would have lost my damn mind well before even finishing the assembly. So it's probably a good thing I spent the money, but this is still really frustrating. Well, I pretty much had the printer running all night last night, and here is a sampling of all the things that I've printed uh, since then. Uh, with this top for my kids, case for my Raspberry Pi, of course the robot that I printed first. Um, I got this this minion. Um, it is Valentine's Day, so I'm making this for my wife. It's in the middle of being painted. And also this, which is part of a shelf, holds some of my ammo making components for the garage. Which turned out very well actually. I'm pretty impressed. Um, once I was able to get the filament to stick to the plate, uh, things were a lot better. I no longer feel like dragging this thing out and blowing it up, so that's good. So I got this pink PLA from Toy Builder Labs on clearance and I wasn't even sure what I was going to do with pink but I couldn't pass it up because it was so cheap but I think I found a use for it. Uh, my younger son, he's four, he really hates pink. He just, he won't even touch, uh, we went bowling, he wouldn't even touch the pink bowling ball. He just can't, he can't handle it. He won't walk down the girl toy aisle at the store. So I just printed out something in pink and I'm going to bring him in here and tell him that it's his. Let's see what we got. Come here, I printed you something. Look in the printer. It's pink. What? It's pink. Yeah, but you know what it is? The thing that we drew off 
trying to find, that he was trying to well, make it. Look at it. Shall I pick it up? Daddy. What's the problem? Pick it up. It's a puzzle card. Don't you like it? Yeah. You do? Isn't that your favorite color? No. What? Are you I sure? I think it's my favorite color. It's not? No. Give this one to what the? No, give this to your brother. What? what? What color do you want? Blue. Blue? I don't have blue. It's okay, yellow. Are you sure you don't like pink? No. You don't want it? No. Okay, fine. But the wood one it. Okay. Sorry. You sure you don't want the pink one? No. Get that dirty pink. You think your brother likes pink? <laughs> I don't like pink. Well, that was pretty hilarious. Uh, I wonder what my uh, older son will say. He probably won't care. Watch. Let's find out. Look in the printer. I'll print you something. What do you think? That's a lot of pieces. What? That's a lot of pieces. You okay with that? Yeah. Do you want it? Sure. How do I build it? You don't have a problem with the color? How do you build it? Oh, well, there's instructions. I'll, I'll find them for you. You're okay with the color? Maybe. Zach didn't want it. 